Hi, this is another video about uh, long sightedness. Uh, it's about children um, and when they're beginning to learn to read and just looking at how this, this affects them. Um, so, most children are actually a bit long sighted um, and especially small children, their eyes are very, very flexible and they can accommodate, um, you know, to, to quite near vision um, in, in ways that adults can't because our eyes are a lot less flexible, even, even as young adults. Um, so in, in the UK, children start learning to read about age four um, in, or you know, earliest age four to five. Uh, Scandinavia is a little bit later. Um, th I think it's about age seven. They, they start their formal schooling. So you can imagine between four and seven, well, that's quite a big difference in, in a child's eye development. And um, of course, um, when we start learning to read, um, you know, we we learn stuff with uh, small words and big letters. Um, so it's it's easy for us to see what we're looking at, and there's a lot of wall charts, and you know we're looking at stuff on the blackboard, and the teachers putting up flashcards for us. Uh, if teachers still put up flashcards, because I think in the UK it's all phonetics now, isn't it? Um, but there, there we are. So we're looking at things at a distance a lot and we're looking at big print and with big print the letters are spaced further apart which does make it a lot easier um, to read anyway. Um, so ch children can flex their eyes very very easily um, you know, at a young age, and I suppose the younger they start learning to read, the easier it is for them to get into the habit of trying to focus it near, um, which could actually be leading to myopia in some children. But then in others, um, if they start later and they have, you know, higher than normal degrees of hyperopia, um, then you can get, you know, because by what, age seven, um, their eyes are a bit less flexible and they're well on their way to developing, then you can get, I suppose, children who don't want to, to read and find it difficult because they, you know, find it a bit more difficult to actually um, do close work. So it's kind of the lesser of the two evils um, in in that um, situation. Um, so a child's eyes really stop um, kind of growing and developing by about age nine. Um, okay, um, so you get children say they're very quick, they're, they're very quick to learn reading. Now what happens, um, you know, as, as you progress in learning reading, you go to smaller and smaller print. So um, by the time a child is, is nine, they can just be reading um, adult material, adult size print. Um, so you can get um, I mean you, you can certainly get uh, you know my, myopia with that focus on that small detail um, because of course by, by the time they get to nine that their eyes have stopped develop, developing as much so they're fixed I mean I won't say they're fixed they've caught myopia um, but certainly some of you might know that I follow Otis Brown's um, 
vi videos and I totally agree with what he says about um, you know adding adding minuses um, to myopia just creates more myopia um, and I've kind of gone into this in, in other videos as well. Um, so yeah, so the child who um, has say learned to read adult material um, and adult size print by the time they're about nine and maybe their eyes are a bit stressed out um, may respond in one or two two ways. Um, the the first um, they may start to read a bit differently. So instead of tracking along the line, they they may deal with the reduced print size um, by scanning a page and picking out the relevant uh, content, and they'll appear to be quite fast readers, you know, they can pick up quite a bit of information at one glance but they won't do so much deep reading. Um, and the other way obviously is to become uh, myopic. Um, so what can be done um, to ensure that all children um, you know, can achieve their best at school and um, you know, all their experiences of reading are comfortable and productive. Um, certainly regular eye screenings um, to check if there is any um, hyperopia there and um, obviously deal with it um, by plus lenses. Um, and the other thing that can be done is um, to, to change the, the print and the, the whole layout of, of books. Um, certainly in my own time, um, and I've got... Okay, here is um, an old fashioned book, and I don't know how well you can see the print. Um, on this, but this was obviously the paper is slightly uh, yellowed with age, but it would never have been quite completely white, so it's slightly lower contrast. Um, there's lots of white space around all of the letters, and what we also have if uh, this shows up more clearly on the title. You have something called um, serifs. That's these bits on the tops and bottoms of letters here. Um, and they, they help the eye track because they give, they give a weight to the top and bottom. And um, I was watching one of the TED Talks, and I can't remember the name of the guy, but he's developed... Um, a typeface to help dyslexics, which um, it weights the um, the letters and um, it makes each letter look a bit different from the next. And that is really nice to look at. And the other thing he's done is to space um, the, the print um, so that letters aren't quite so close together. And, I mean, you might be able to see um, I mean, old printing techniques just didn't allow you to jam the letters so close as you can now. And here is a modern book. Um, look at all the black space. Um, the paragraphs are right next to each other. Um, the paper is very very white and um, with obviously with computers you can kern the font so you can um, you know pixelate how close one letter is going to be um, next to the other um, 
So, I mean, never mind for dyslexics, it's not altogether comfortable uh, for every other person either um, to read. So, I mean, that could be certainly changed um, to, to help children when they're beginning to read. And I hope this uh, guy who's developed this uh, di dyslexic uh, font uh, manages to make a success of it because that would be really, really great to see and I think that would help children to get off to the right start. So yeah, that's my little talk on that.